What's up, old beers? Remington Barkley here with Lucky Tackle Box. Today I bring you Dobbins Beast D Blade Spinnerbait, meticulously designed to tame the beast in your local waters. Before I talk more about this amazing spinnerbait, a little disclaimer. I traveled to a spawning flat several hours from my home to make this video. Then when I arrived, well, Michigan happened. Breezy, cold, 40 degrees, ice pellets and rain. The conditions were no match for the Dobbins Beast D Blade Spinnerbait, but the wind noise was rough in the camera. So I'm commentating from my quiet home waters. Stay tuned to the end of this video and you will see why they say this spinnerbait tames the beast in your local waters. Okay, onto this amazing spinnerbait. The Dobbins Beast D Blade features a custom flowing head into a great hand tied skirt over top of a very long shanked needlepoint mustad hook with both a top and bottom trailer key. Also a high grade stainless steel wire and ball bearing swivels attached to a custom lightweight golden and nickel plated stainless steel blades. Now for rigging. Today we're in late pre-spawn conditions, 58 degree water temps, slow rolling the beastie blade over scattered weeds. I like to use a longer medium powered rod with enough parabolic fish play to keep the beast pegged. Today I'm using favorite 7.6 medium heavy balance rod spooled with 12 pound Invisex fluorocarbon line. For retrieval, start by making a long low roll cast and just before your Dobbins beast hit the water, slow down your spool and start a gentle sweep of your rod. By doing this technique, you allow your beast to quietly enter the water and then smoothly start turning the D-blades. A large majority of your quality strikes will come from the initial rod sweep. As you're retrieving your beast, keep your rod tip low with a constant crank allowing your parabolic rod play to do the work for you keeping your beast hooked up. For location, find scattered weed bed flats and no more than seven or eight feet of water. Additionally, the best conditions for a spinnerbait is when there is small amounts of ripples or even small waves on the water. Keep your spinnerbait high in the water column, just clipping the top of the weeds. The quality Dobbins D-Blade will flash and draw them out with the flowing hand-tied skirt will attract the beast to strike. During the filming of this video, I landed 20 plus bass in less than two hours. Despite the rough weather, the Dobbins Beast D Blade did tame the beast in my local waters. Enjoy the next few minutes of Dobbins Beast Beatdown. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! We have a net. Oh my god! Oh, oh. oh my god! <laughs> the diamonds! Oh. I can't even talk right now. The diamonds. Beast! Beastie! Beast deep laid spinnerbait! Oh my! I, I don't even know.
Dobbins Beast D Blade Spinnerbait. That gone beast. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you for watching. And again, I'm Remington Barkley here with Lucky Tackle Box. If you enjoyed the content of this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below.